Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I think this game is a really good one to learn from. I explain a lot in game about how I'm specifically playing my lane and what my thought processes are for trading and avoiding the enemy jungler based on recent info from the minimap. I also talk about how to influence the map to turn your individual lead into a team lead, which is really important in climbing the ranks. Another thing is to make sure that you don't throw your leads in game. That's probably one of the biggest reasons people lose games. Throwing is really avoidable and you should always play smart to avoid throwing your lead and losing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video, and make sure to subscribe if y'all are interested in daily Challenger Rise content. What's a Nico? Nico in the mid lane, not Echo. A lot of AP, so... Okay. Hmm. I think I'm still gonna go the Muramana build while it still exists. It's gonna be removed in like six days uh, from now, or something like that. Like. The ability for AP champions to exploit it. But um, yeah, I think I'll still go Muramana this game. I have a lot of AP champions, so I'm going to go Merc Treads Banshee. So my build path is probably looking like um, this, Lyandries, Merc Treads, Banshees, and then probably... Um, playing on like 700 ping or what? What's going on, man? Okay. Uh, she outranges me, so that's one thing I have to watch out for. So, in ranged matchups, you really want to try to utilize your. I mean, this guy is kind of auto attacks. Do you want to utilize? No. Oh wait, never mind. I think he leveled Q or something. Oh, he leveled E. Okay. Mostly just playing for mana flow and tier stacks. Early game. Rise has a really crappy early game, so that's just how it goes. Main thing I want to watch out for in this lane is. Okay, well, I mean, he just saved me CS, so I'll take that. I just want to watch out for her E. I just don't want to get it. Super long snared. Wave is okay. He's trying to look for an E. Yeah, fortunately I have to lose CS for that. Yeah. Um. There's Ignite too, so that's pretty annoying. Yes. Really just trying to see us. He's still looking for ease. Ah, that's in range. Not that bad though. Echo is probably at the area. Um, this guy has no TP, so this is good. I can probably shove out. The only thing I have to watch out for is Echo killing my ass. It was last seen top side, so I'm gonna base on bot side. Mm -mm. See? Just like I told you guys. Back up a bit more just to be safe. Let's get boots so I can juke his abilities a bit easier. Um, let me get some more mana. Wave is okay. Do you have any wards? Mm 
Not bad, not bad. I was able to use my TP advantage to influence my jungler's matchup, which is very good. That's what you want to do as a mid laner. You want to influence the, the game. You know, you're not always just playing for yourself. There are times where you'll play for yourself, but oftentimes, play for your team. Yo, yo, chill. And see, look, my wave is really good, right? So, like, that gives me a lot of free time. I won't lose CS if I'm doing stuff on the map. So always make sure your wave is good before you do things, you know? If your wave is shoving out and you lose CS, it's not worth. That's when you have to play for yourself. Alright, I mean, game state's really good. Okay, you see this? One minion? I'm gonna leave it alive. So when my wave meets here, I don't have to walk up so far to see us. Now Nico's in a bad spot. She has to walk up really far to see us. And even if she bases, I'm pretty safe, right? So. Let's trade a little. Kind of want to base, honestly. He's trying to freeze on me. This is actually really annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna ward here. Make sure that I can't get ganked. Because look, look, it's a reverse now. I have to walk up really far to get this wave in. I don't have mana flow or regen or anything, so I'm just stuck with autos. Hopefully I don't get soft. Oh, what the hell? That is not allowed. What the fuck? God, that is legal. Plate? No, I can't get a plate. Guess I'll go solo blue buff. Bring a little bit of this. That's the max DPS combo. Q, Q, W, Q. I'm just waiting on EQs. Let's go back this way. Maybe I can get some honey fruits on the way back. I don't have to use as many potions. Okay, so Miramana build path is Lost Chapter into Miramana. So my next item is Lost Chapter. That's uh, rather unfortunate. Um. Go ahead, my man. I can just get perma prowl at this point because I avoided the uh, the early game weakness of rise. I can just shove out and then I can basically just roam wherever I really want to. Honestly, um, bot is a potential play. What if it doesn't happen? See, the issue with walking up to try and get plates is they can go on me. Can't really make a play bot side because my jungler does not want to. Nope. Please get away from me, man. You being mid does nothing. So when you're making plays as a mid laner, you always want to try to make them with your jungler. Unless you can just straight up win like 3v3 or 2v2. Then you can play without your jungler, but best case is you play with your jungler. I see Echo for some reason. Alright, and then I'm building towards Muramana, so I'll be spiking really early this game. An enemy has 
has been slain. See echo. Oh shit. Brain lagged a little there. I want a mana or um, tier stacks off of the clone. Okay, well, I mean, please get hurled, man. Please. Please get hurled, man. That's all I ask. I get some plates. I mean, this is very good. Committing five or four people down there is not good for them because I can get so many plates. Please get Harold, man. I just want to get this thing low enough t to the point where Harold just one shots it is ideal. And because we know their bot side, look where I'm hugging. I'm not just in the middle of the lane. I'm hugging specifically the top side. Because I know they're coming from bot side. So safety in this scenario is not my tower. It's over here. That is what is safe for me. Alright, always keep that in mind, especially when you're getting ganked or you know where the enemy jungler is. It's the difference between uh, good mid laners and bad mid laners. They know how to play safe at different angles. I hope he's fine. Okay, well, we have pretty good vision right now. No, oh, definitely don't do top. Mid is so much better, man. Alright, just got tier stacks. Alright, we just get mid tired straight up, just like that. See, I told you guys earlier, right? That them doing that bot is really bad. Because they sent four, and what did they get? They got one plate and two kills off it. What did we get? We just got five straight up plates. Uh, do I want to fight that? I think they're already dead. Okay, not bad, not bad. Then let's just go, uh, Manamune. Looks like some things happening uh, on the map, so I'm just gonna port back. And we can also just play for Drake as well. So let's chill a little. Um, I'm a little spooked of Kaiza. Kaiza is their win con right now. We we we, we, uh, we can just Drake. Like we don't have to go too much deep in their jungle now. And uh, those of you that don't know about the Muramana Rise, this thing will get removed in the next patch. But right now it's really broken, so you should abuse it while you can. It's really hard for me to do anything. Just give it. We don't have to do anything, man. I really don't want to fight it. I'm not spiked yet. I just want to fight away from their Kai'Sa, because look at their Kai'Sa and look at our Senna. Our Senna has half the farm of Kai'Sa. You want to play to uh, the teammates that are actually strong, right? So, yeah. Okay. Still don't think this is a good idea, but... Actually, not bad, not bad. They caught them out of position. See, there's variables like that too. Like, if they're caught out of position, then maybe that play is good. But you always want to know what the variables in a fight are. And that is mostly power spikes. Because look at our Senna. Look at our look at their Kai'Sa. He has Kraken Slayer. And, Slayer. and uh, our Senna doesn't have too much. And then look how scared this Kai'Sa is, right? I don't know where Nico is. Nico could be just full committed. Because uh, what mid laners can do, right, is they can just uh, they can just ignore mid prowl, give up this wave, and make a cheese play bot lane. And that's what a lot of low elo players do. And that's what a lot of people that are, uh, you know, I call them kind of psych psychos. But uh, if I ever see that happen in like high elo, because in high elo, right, challenger, grandmaster, you always want to play for the um, the essentials and like what's Guaranteed, right? CS is guaranteed, you know? Jungle camps are guaranteed. That's why you, you see LCS players play for uh, camps, objectives, waves. Those are the holy trinity of macro. I'm very close to Muramana. Just uh, 
probably like another another minute or so, and uh, I'll be really strong, and I'll be able to just basically smash um, the whole game. So I'm gonna get Merc Treads for move speed and MR because they do have a lot of uh, magic damage sources. I'm gonna sell this because uh, Rafael does nothing for me now. Try to get the pink ward. Try to get one pink per base if you can. Very quick blades, huh? I don't want to walk up too far because I don't see too many of them and my jungler and support are committed to top. They're not around mid so I don't want to fight. Okay now we see Kai'Sa so that means I can walk up. That's the member I am trying to avoid. Wait that's not Kai'Sa, that's Nico. I'm scared. So strong. Just don't let Kaiser get anything. Oh boy. I can try and make it up there. It seems it seems bad. Let's try to live. Be a lot worse. Kaiser's are win con. Ulti up in twenty-five. It's gonna hit this blue plant. They could cheese and stay knowing I have no flash. So I just gotta be really careful. Can't really too much. They could still be in that rush. So just play smart. You know, if you know your sums are down, your rise. Rise is uh, one of the most immobile chants right now. That's why you have to go phase rush on this champion, because you're so immobile. You can't play the game if, uh, if you don't go phase rush. So I really want to go into these fights and just contribute. But to do that, I need people in front of me. So that's the main thing about Rise. I'm gonna go group with them. Bad, not bad. And look at that Muramana, dude. My Muramana accounted for a third of my damage there. Look at that. Just from that one team fight, 800 damage. That's why this item is so broken right now. You know, let's say you get like Ludens or Lyanges. Lyanges would have probably only done like 250 damage there, tops. Oh my god, I'm so sad. But I'm gonna buy Lyondres anyways, but uh, I'm just making comparison for first item purposes. Alright, let's base. 700 bounty, just like that, boys. You know, you gotta you got play the team fights well. Like, before that team fight, I had like a 200 gold bounty or something. Okay, let us get this thing, I think. Let's CDR is really important on red. Go for blue buff. We want to play for Herald if we can. Oh, we'll bot. But. Okay, then I'll go top again.
Please tell me he can, uh... I mean, he's just dead. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> he's alive. So I didn't want to help him, but, um... Somehow he survived the initial burst, so... Yeah, I could actually help him there. I can't really walk up, because they have... Yeah, there he is. I think that's Nico though. But I really gotta just watch out for Kaisa. I don't know where most of them are. So I'm a little spooked. You know, even though I'm so strong, right? I'm playing to not throw. You know? Let's say uh, Blitzcrank's over here and Kaisa's over there. I just die, and then BAM! I lose all my pressure. So, most important thing, don't throw. You know, getting ahead is only half the battle. Using your lead is the second battle. Mm, yeah, the thing's just gone. An enemy has been slain. I think we can get some things down bot though. Has been destroyed. Probably do a Baron if it's not worded. Is he actually going for that? I hope he wasn't seen. I think we can finish in time. Nice, very nice. Nice, 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 nice. Wonderful. See, when you see the enemy jungler go bot like that, and you have enough DPS, you can Baron. Uh, it's a lot easier with Rise because of just how much raw damage my champion does to objectives, and just in general. But let's say you're playing something else like a Syndra, that's not a possible play there. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. This could be a bit of an overstay, but I think we'll be fine. We're just so so strong, I don't think it matters too much. Okay, well, maybe it matters a little. Okay, well this sucks. Yeah, it was an overstay. Damn. Oh, Kaiza got my shutdown, so this game's actually winnable for them. Banshees. Y'all can chill a little. Make spawning soon. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Good job. We'll port back on the map because we can pressure right now. Let's get the wave in and all that. It's gotta be a, a little spooked of Kaisa, is all. It's the only threat to me. Next item is probably like Death Cap or something. through because YOLO. Look at that Muramana damage, baby.
You'll probably get a decent amount of damage. The one downside of going Muramana is you're not going to do that much damage to objectives um, with your autos anyways. How often do I recommend going Muramana, you ask? Um, right now, I think it's always good to buy it. You spike so much earlier. You're going to feel like uh, a little bit weaker around like 30 minutes-ish. But um, other than that, like the early spike is really nice. I'm really enjoying it. But this item is going to get changed so that Rise and other mages can't use it in like 6 days. So, um, I mean... We'll just be back to using the traditional build, but, I mean, it's not bad at all. Like, Rise is pretty good. Look at that, 3,000 damage. Look how much Lyandris has done. Lyandris has only done 700 for me this whole game. Well, this has done 3,000. This is why this item is so broken right now. just does 200 damage to him. That's freaking hilarious, man. Oh, let's back up. Kaizo's alive. Okay, I mean, this guy feels like a man, then sure, why not? Oh, he died. Get me out of here, man. I'm... I don't want to be here no more. Just want to get this blue buff and get out of here. So I don't actually have anything to buy because Death Cap is quite a ways away. And it doesn't do anything if I sell my Dark Seal because this actually gives more AP than the Needlessly Large Rod. So I'm really just waiting for this 900 gold. Are they on it? They're not on it. You can always just use that as a face check when you need to. Just gonna get AoE damage off. I just got CC'd for like 10 years there. I'll do you guys a little service and uh, show off how much AP I actually got with uh, with Death Cap with Muramana. It's a lot less than the traditional build path, but we'll see. Probably like a decent amount. 478. Yeah, it's a lot less, but Muramana is just so strong. So can, yo, can you just end the game? GG. Yeah. Played lane pretty well and snowballed the game.